Good morning, everybody. So, so this week is a little weird kind of week for me and Matt. Labor Day is this coming weekend. However, before then, Matt has crazy long days for the first three days of the week. Um, so we decided to make three different crock pot meals um, to kind of help make sure we have enough food for him to take to work for like lunch and dinner. And then also when he gets home, if he's still hungry, there's even more food here. Um, and make it easy on me as well so that way I don't have to like make a crazy elaborate meal just for myself pretty much. So um, I thought I would share these three crock pot meals with you. Uh, two of them I've never made before so hopefully they turn out good. Um, the other one I have made and it's so so good. It's one of Matt's favorites. Um, so yeah so the first one I want to make is a whole chicken in a crock pot and then I just have broccoli I'm gonna like steam to go with it. Um, but I figured I'd show you the recipe. I've already put it in the crock pot, but um, I'll show you the recipe and show you what it looks like. And then I'll show you what it looks like at the end. So yeah, let's look at the recipe. So Matt found this recipe. Um, I don't know exactly where he found it, but he found it. And this is what, it's a very simple recipe and then we got um, broccoli to go with it. So that's all it is. So I mixed it all up. The only thing I did differently is I left the skin on. I think the only reason they say to do that is to make it healthier, but I was like, meh, I like the skin. Um, so yeah, I put them in there. I set my crock pot. I put on 10 hours just so I know for sure it's in there long enough. Um, but yeah, so that's the first meal. I'm gonna sh I'll show you when it's all done tonight. So the chicken has only been for a couple hours, but it already smells super good. I just like basted it a little bit, put some of the juices on top. That's what it's looking like. Still doesn't look good at all, but it smells amazing. I think it's the garlic, but I just love garlic, so yum. Okay, I just pulled the chicken out of the um, crock pot and it fell apart, so it must be completely not. And then I just added a little cornstarch to this to make it thicker so I can use it as like a sauce. Um, it still smells really, really good. I have my rice over there, put broccoli in. Um, so I'm gonna get this plate up and I'll show you how it looks and I'll taste it, let you know how it tastes. Okay, so this is what my plate looks like. I just kind of poured the sauce over everything, but this was a leg. Um, it's not really a leg anymore, it's just the bone. And I took part of the breast, so I'm gonna try it out, let's see. All right, I'm standing in my kitchen still trying it. So. I'm just gonna try a little bit of the breast first. It's a little dry, um, but I think that's my fault. Um, I decided to flip it halfway through because the sauce only covered like half the chicken. I was like, well, the other half's not going to be flavorful. But I think I accidentally like released a lot of the juices. Um, you know what? The sauce isn't very flavorful either, to be honest. Um, a little disappointing because it smelled so good. Um, I'm not sure I could recommend this one, but I'm going to keep eating it and see how I feel. If I change my mind as I keep eating, I will let you know. <laughs> Okay, I do have to say that the dark meat on the leg is a lot juicier. Um, still not very flavorful, but it's better than the breast, so if that's anything for anybody. All right, so I finished my dinner. Um, yeah, definitely not my favorite meal. Don't know if I'd make it again. The dark meat was better than the light meat. Um, but the sauce wasn't just as, it wasn't as flavorful as I wanted to be because it smelled so good all day, but um, just wasn't as flavorful as I had hoped. So, um, yeah, I think crock pot meal number one is a fail, but tomorrow's I know will be good because I've made it before and it is so good. So I'll see you tomorrow with the next recipe. Hi everyone, good morning again. So it's day two of our slow cooker meals. Um, today I am making a jambalaya, which I made before. It's a great recipe. I will share it with you and the link to it will be down below. Um, but yeah, so I'm just going to start getting it ready. It doesn't take that long. I it's like four hours for the first part, an hour or two for the second, and like 20 minutes for the last. But the like different parts are really, really simple. You put most of the ingredients in the first time, and then the second time you just add rice, and the third time you just add the shrimp. So it's really, really easy. Um, so yeah, so let me show you the recipe. So this is the website that I got it off of. So let me just scroll down along the bottom to where all the stuff is. All right, so there are all the ingredients that you need. Like I said, I'll have this linked below, and then here are the instructions. Really, really easy. Um, yeah, super, super easy to do. So I'm gonna, going to uh, start making this. 
Okay, I know you can't see much, but everything's in there. I just kind of gave it a stir. So I'm gonna let this go on low for, I think, four hours. So, yeah, um, that's how it kind of looks. So, yeah, I'm just gonna let it go. Okay, so this has been cooking for about four-ish hours. I just add the rice, I'm just gonna give this a quick stir. I think the recipe only calls for a cup and a half of rice, but I always put a little bit extra because um, my husband's a hungry man. So, now I'm gonna leave that for another hour or two and then I'm gonna come back and put the shrimp in, but it is smelling so good so far. Uh, all right, last steps. This is what it's looking like right now. Uh -oh. I just gave it a little stir and then I just peeled and rest off my shrimp. So I'm just gonna add those in like so. And then I'm gonna give it another stir and then it cooks for another 20 to 30 minutes. So that was going in. Give it a nice little stir so the shrimp get it. Oh, you're not looking at it. My bad. Um, so just give it a little stir. This is hard to do one handed in a videotape. I underestimated how hard this would be. <laughs> uh, but it smells amazing still. Super excited to eat. Up adding a little even a little bit more rice because it just didn't seem like it was enough so that's what it's looking like now and i will show you the finished product in a little bit that looks done to me oh i'm so excited i'm gonna put this in a bowl and get to eating it i will show you what it looks like all right okay so here is the final product i'm gonna give it a little taste but i already know it's gonna taste amazing because i love this recipe okay let's see i'm gonna get a little piece of Trezo and chicken can. Ooh, it's a very awkward angle, I'm sorry. Mm. Mm, yes, so good. The chicken's never my favorite part because I think it's always a little dry, but what I like about this meal is that you just like put everything in the crock pot. You don't have to do anything else. You put some stuff in for a few hours, you add the rice, you add the shrimp, and you're done. It has veggies, it's got the rice, it's got the meats. So, so good, and I love this recipe. It tastes amazing. Mm. Mm -hmm. So good. You should definitely try it. Once again, I'll leave it down below. Okay, good morning, guys. Sorry for the crazy appearance. I just got back from the gym, but I wanted to start my third and last crock pot recipe now because apparently it's gonna take 10 hours, which I don't believe because I've made pork in the crock pot before definitely doesn't take 10 hours um but i'm gonna put it in anyway just in case for some reason it does so i'm making carnitas in the crock pot so um i'm just getting together stuff to do it so once again matt found this recipe so i'll try to find it online and link it for you guys below but uh this is the recipe um i don't have all the spices so i'm kind of making up the spices just a little bit but it's about the same thing um so let's see what else I need to do. See, I don't put any like peppers or onions in the pot with it. So I think I'll cook the peppers and onions separately because I was going to make peppers and onions with it. Um, all right. So yeah, I'm just going to put the pork in by itself with the chicken broth. Ooh, two cups of chicken broth. I hope I have enough. Find out. Anyway, so here are the spices. I'm just going to make those up with a fork and then rub it with the fork. Um, I'll show it to you when it's in the crock pot. Okay, the other thing I did differently was um, I we didn't get pork shoulder, we just got pork tenderloin, so maybe that's the reason it won't take as long, but I don't feel like there was enough seasoning on there. I'm hoping it's that's enough and it's good. I might add some more, like halfway through if it's not smelling or looking the greatest, but um, the pork's in there, I'm gonna add the chicken broth and then put it in the crock pot and I will check on it a little bit later so I'll show it to you when I'm checking on it. I just wanted to um, clarify one thing. I did put like the same amount of spice rub that it said to use in the recipe. I just didn't use the same spices. So um, yeah, if that was confusing at all, like when I said that it didn't look like there was enough, it's not because I didn't use the same amount. I just used different spices. But um, yeah, it's in the crock pot now. So I guess we'll see how it goes. Like I said, I probably depending on how it's smelling um we'll add more spices to it halfway through but um yeah we'll see you know this is the thing trying out new crock pot recipes but 
yeah, all right, I'll check back with you in a little bit. I forgot to show you what it looked like before I shredded it up, but um, the pork's done. I shredded it up, it fell apart really easily. So I just cut up some onions. I have some corn over there, my gluten-free tortillas. There's some um, beans in the microwave. So I'm gonna make some tacos and then I'll show you how they look and I will try them out. All right, there they are. There's a little sour cream under there. Oh, you know what, I'm gonna add salsa. But um, sour cream, stuff like that. So let me add some salsa and then I'll taste it. All right, just added a little bit of salsa and I'm going to try these. We'll see. Hopefully this, I can do this. Pick it up with one hand and try to take a bite of my taco. Gonna be, oh God. <laughs> Hope I can do this. It was already really awkward. I'm sorry. The pork doesn't have much flavor. I can't really even taste it, to be honest. Yeah, the pork doesn't have a ton of flavor. Um, probably should have added more spices, but it's not bad. It's just not. I think I would make it again, but I would use different seasonings. Um, I don't think you really need a recipe for this. I mean, you just put some pork in there and some, um, like Mexican style seasons, and it would be good. Um, I don't think it's anything special. Um, but like I said, I'm gonna leave all the recipes down below. Um, <clears throat> sorry. Okay, so I'm back really quick. The more I ate that pork, the more I liked it. So I think I was a little too quick to judge off that first bite. Um, I did like it more and more I ate. Still not my favorite thing. I still think it could be better. But it was definitely not as disappointing as my first bite. So, yeah. So there. <laughs> that helps at all. <laughs> this was our three days of trying different crock pot meals. Let me know if you liked it, if you want to see more meals, because I do love to cook. Um, but yeah, I think that's it for this video. So I will see you in the next adventure. Bye.